All right. G'day, everyone. Looks like we're all here. Jezza, Alistair, good to see you, boys. Let's crack on. Welcome to this week's general meeting for Aussie Assassins Limited. Look, we're all thinking it, so let's just jump straight in. Social distancing. It's here, so let's spitball assassination techniques. What can we do? What can't we do? What are you boys thinking? I'm thinking no knives. No knives. Good mm. one, Jezza. Way too close and personal. No way of keeping the mark at a safe 1.5 metres. Now, now, I reckon that throwing them would be all right. That's a good point. Chuck it in the maybe pile, I reckon. Um, I think no poisoning either. Too many surfaces involved. Too many possibilities for errors in hand sanitation, I reckon. Oh. What do you reckon about umbrella style? Because I, well, it's just I've kind of already had something in the works for next well, week. It's like, you know, 1.14 metres plus arm span. If it's a long umbrella, well within community standards. No issues there, Jez. Oh, yeah. You've got a good point there. Oh, really, I've only got one of those like little handbag ones though, you know, the little mm. button and they pop out. I kind of wanted it to pop out, stab the guy, pop back in, you know. Mm. I don't think that, you know. Hang on, actually, I was cleaning out the shed the other day. I found this, I found this old guy that used to belong to my grandpa. Oh, family tradition. Yeah, like maybe that. Not get me across the line. Distance, excellent. All good. Yeah, 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 sorry about this, guys. I've actually got a phone call. I just need to take this one if that's all right. Just uh, mute. Rude. Oh, yeah, it's a bit Hello. rude. I mean. Hello. Yeah, yeah, mate. No, no, no. I'm on call with them now. Oh, bunch of tossers going on and on about social distancing. As if assassins aren't the most socially distanced people on the planet. Uh, I don't think he... Alistair, mate. We can hear you. Alistair. I don't think he can hear us. He's muted his computer, hasn't he? Bloody idiot, not his Zoom. Well, I don't know what to do. Well, I think we should listen. I am stabbed for drama in this lockdown. Yeah. Yeah, I've been skimming their pay for a good few months now. Got a nice little nest egg tucked away. He's been doing what now? Yeah, and yesterday the producer got in touch. Yeah, that's right. I'm in. I'm going to be the next bloody bachelor. Hey, what? Oh, hell no. <sighs> yeah, I know. I start filming next week, eh? They're going to get me a couple of nice suits, a couple of chopper rides. <laughs> Oh my God, this is amazing. No, 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 this is not amazing. I'm in the next Bachelor. I'm going to be one of the Bachelorettes. I, mm -hmm. Darcy, Darcy, I bought a dress. And I, I mean, we both know how hard that is for me. And I, I mean, look at it. It's cost me $20 from Target to get this. I mean, looks great. I don't know what I'm all out. I mean, I haven't shaved under my arms yet, but I would have. I mean, I was going, oh, this is a disaster. Congrats. Commiserations. At least you bloody know him. Might be an advantage. Oh, oh, I, mm, you kind of have a point there. But no, no, Darcy, don't you talk me around on this. That guy. There is no way I'm sucking up to that weasel face, ass face, cockatoo. And it's for a rose every week. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to tie up a few loose ends here first, you know. Take them both out, I reckon. Can't have them popping in on my dates or anything like that to annihilate me. Uh, is he? He's plotting to kill us. No. That... Despicable. Deplorable. Absolute drongo. What a dirtbag. He doesn't even have a six-pack fucking loser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be a walk in the park. They're so uptight about social distancing. They'll never even see me coming. 
Oh no. He had better not be plotting to come within my 1.5 meter radius. He is a madman. Darcy, you need to get you need to get you need to get Dazza on the phone right now because we need to sort this out right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they haven't told me anything yet, but I keep dropping hints that I'm a sucker for redheads. Yeah, dropped a few hints about Julie Bishop too. Oh, I hope you only find a Pauline Hans and a room full of Karens to choose from at your rose ceremonies. Oh yeah, Kate Sobrano would be cracking, eh? Or Maggie Beard. Do you think they could get Nigella Lawson? What's he bloody talking about? I don't think he knows how this show works. No, me neither. Daz! Oh, uh, do Oh, fucking Jez, it's good to see you, love. Oh, Darcy just told me on the phone he reckons you're going to be on the next season of The Bachelor, like some kind of long game to get to a close mark. Like, that's some real fucking commitment, love. Like, fucking good work. Doing it for the assassins, eh? Fucking love it for you. Oh, oh, oh that's a cracking idea. I hadn't even thought of that. That'd be a great place to get some marks done. But no, I mean, Dad, I'm going on there for love. I'm straight oh, up. Going for going love? I'm going for love. Oh, yeah. I'm going for love, Maya. Fucking good shit, mate. It's pretty isolating being an assassin. My hot water model, it's not enough. I need a, a human in my bed at night. Not one to kill, you know. Once love. Oh, yeah. I mean... Bloody oath. Yeah. I like yeah, that. I feel that, that mouth. Yeah. Oh, fuck. But not just bloody anyone. You know, you need someone special. Yeah. yeah and uh, Al is not special. He's a wet fucking blanket. And so I need you to kill him immediately and get me a real bachelor. I need a replacement bachelor fucking ASAP. Oh, yeah. fix this. But also Daz. He yeah. has no respect for social distancing. He's a bloody mm. danger to the community. And honestly, he could kill someone. So yeah, Daz, look, I mean, go. I, I absolutely hear you on that, love. Like, you know, dangerous fucking times that we're living in. You know, you're either getting assassinated, you're assassinating someone else, or you're fucking getting coronavirus. So either way, you're fucked. Yeah. And um, looking at this strong guy, I mean, he's wearing a fucking Hawaiian shirt, just cocky on the phone like that. Like doesn't even understand how Zoom works. He's clearly just fucking incompetent. And um, if it's all right with you guys, I think I'll just take him out now. I mean, I actually live around the corner, so I reckon I might just pop on over, uh, just pop some explosives and just just give him a red button treatment. What do you reckon, ladies? You reckon that's uh, that's cool with you guys? That would be Bloody excellent. perfection, Dazza. You legend. Anything for you, ladies. All right, off we go. Just get oh. my mask on. Absolutely, uh, Ledge, Daz. Here's one I prepared earlier. Oh. See, this is why we called you prepared. What a legend. Bloody love, Daz. <sighs> I love mask season, though. I mean, I'm missing my balaclava. Oh, but... I know. I tried to wear it underneath the mask one time. Ah, and, and it just it just really... The mask grew into the vibe. And, you know, I'm obviously not going to take the mask off, so it was just... You know, one day we'll get back to that. But I... How's a bloody bachelor going to work without with social distancing? I mean, without canoodling, where's the drama? Oh, and you know I love a canoodle. But, uh, yeah, they've got some big twists. I mean, I'm not really supposed to tell you this. I signed an NDA, but fuck it. Who are we going to tell? We'll just kill them if you accidentally let it slip. So, uh, yeah, big twist. It's all yeah. on Zoom. And instead of going on dates, the producers are just going to help us uh, stalk each other on social media. And then they just drop us all into breakout rooms and we hash it out. Brilliant. I love that. Oh, yeah. shit. Hey, ladies, uh, just to clarify, I know it is good practice to sanitise door handles um, and all that shit, but, like, I just weighed up my options and I was like, I reckon the smoke and flames will uh, have me covered on that one. But anyway, no. you know, I reckon fire's probably going to kill the, kill the trans and shit. So. No, yeah. no worries, mate. That's, that's totally understandable. I just, you know, yeah. I love seeing your work, Daz. That was excellent. Oh, we never really get to see each other at work. Aww. Beautiful. Thanks, guys. I've really fucking missed you. You know, and like, Zoom's not the same, but you guys are still hotties. You know, you look fucking great. So, anyway, uh, before I keep just talking shit, we ready <laughs> Let's to get go, on with guys? It. I got this red button prepared, so I might just give that oh, a yeah. smash if it's cool with you. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Right, I'll count him down. Three, two, one. <laughs>